Well, hello everybody and welcome back to keepy 75 games i'm keepy and today i'm going to tell you about the ps5 system software update and included in this system software update is the integration with discord that's right we finally got the discord integration where you can access it straight from the ps5 console without any third party interaction what we're going to do here from the main screen is press triangle and your cursor will jump to the top go to settings go down to system system software system software update and settings and you can see there is an update available what we're going to do is we're going to see the patch notes all right so as you can see here it says child accounts can now link and add third party services and apps to their playstation network to enjoy benefits and features that enhance their gameplay experience younger players that use child accounts on a ps5 can link accounts to use features like discord voice chat music streaming via apple music spotify and broadcasting and sharing via youtube and twitch new parental controls uh, are available for parents parents and guardians these controls notify and allow them to manage their child's account links with third-party services and apps availability may vary depending on age parental control settings and country region we also have you can now start or join a discord voice chat directly from your ps5 that's what i was just talking about so it says open game base in the control center and select the discord tab to access your servers and direct calls we've updated the device software for the Pulse Elite wireless headset, Pulse Explore wireless earbuds, and PlayStation Link USB. PlayStation Link connection stability has been improved. We fixed an issue with the Pulse Elite wireless headset that caused the power to turn off when the audio cable is connected to the audio input jack. On the Pulse Elite wireless headset, the status indicator that turns on after establishing PlayStation Link connection is now less bright. We improved system software performance and stability, improved the messages and usability on some screens all right so as you can see there's quite a bit of stuff they did in this last update of 24.04-09.40.00 so now we're going to get into the system software update itself using the internet in here we're going to click update and i'll see you guys in a few minutes all right it's now installing whatever you do do not turn your ps5 off as you can see on the screen all right here we are playstation symbol it's booting back up to the operating system and we will jump back into it now Click your PlayStation button. Click your profile. If you have a password, enter it. All right, we have updated our console. So it's as easy as that, guys. And I know there's a lot of people who could care less about this, could care less about this video in general. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. This is more for the people who are away or they didn't notice the pop-up when the update was introduced. If this video helped you in any way, please click the like button, guys. It does help the channel tremendously. I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers by July 31st of this year. We're at 3,506, I believe. So we're not that far away. I know we can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Keepy75. Peace.